Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Welcome to the show. We have new cities because it is a Monday, Mm. and uh, we are going to share them with you right now from around the world. Anaheim, California. Orcas Island, Washington. I bet they have some killer whales around that. Mike, they're killer. (laughs) York, Pennsylvania, where we had an affiliate uh, back in the radio days. Yes. I remember that. York. Uh, Bombay, New York. There's a tribute to uh, Doug Tract right there. Mm -hmm. The old Bombay. And someday, perhaps we set aside some time to discuss him. Him. And uh, I guess his retirement and what he does periodically, I... I'm the very rare do we see him any longer and when we do very odd just a little interesting yeah but you know me. amazingly unchanged yeah Consistent. Well, I mean, yeah maybe uh Clinton Massachusetts and Middlesex Vermont uh the Mike O'Mara show is on now happy to have you here on a Monday on the week where I am getting ready for uh the gang to come down and uh, help me with the uh, stu. Well, really, I'm We're waiting for the gang for to come down and. Yeah. And- yes. Thanks. That's what you do. <laughs> for other down. men, you go and. I'm. Uh, I've set the day aside now. Friday. I won't. I'll be around all day. You. Oh wait. Wait yeah. a second. Hold on a second. What? You're saying that you took off around with your pals of yeah. that wonderful game of golf. Yeah. To stay with your mates that are flying yeah. down to build something in your garage. Oh. It's very benevolent of you. That is very yeah, nice yeah, of you. Well, kind. you might need you know. I know you don't want me in there, and I know well, you. Well, I certainly want don't me. want you golfing while we're in I, there. I have an image, Mike. That would be is awkward. Oscar and I and Chan will be doing the yes. lighting. We'll be doing stuff in the garage, and you're going to come in from the market and say, "I bought a pork roast," as <laughs> <laughs> with my floppy hat. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get filet mignons, but. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, the gang's coming down. We're uh, excited. For the build. I have. I got yeah. a guy coming here uh, tomorrow to uh, run those cables. The patch that, uh, you wanted oh, me to. Uh, the patch uh, run. He's coming between nine and eleven, so he's going to come when we're taping the show. That's. That, I mean, everybody comes and works on your house during the time we That's tape the show. Well, but I mean, I also figured never, if we have that's to no stop, different than right now. Consistency. But if we have yeah. to stop, and I have to ask you a question. That's fine. Well, that's happened be, in the past. We're at your yeah. disposal. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, so well, he'll be here tomorrow, and then I've done everything. Oh, I have not put the insulation in the door yet, but I will be doing that this week, mm. and uh, probably tomorrow I'll be doing that as well, uh, where I even went to the craft store Ooh. and got me that long, hot stick, which, by the way, I think I could use for animal training, uh, to... That's a, don't get mad at me, Peter. It's a, it's a styrofoam cutter. Oh, yeah. So instead yes. of like sawing and having that foofy dust go yeah. everywhere from the styrofoam, you do a little cut right through and then you pop the panels into the door on the outside. And, uh, and I'm not going to say the G word, the G word door, because I'm, I'm paranoid. I'm already paranoid okay. about doing it. For for no real reason, but I am paranoid. Wear uh, I'm, yes. wear your glasses or safety goggles, please, because even and, though and you're, a mask. you're dealing eh, you're dealing with uh, fibers, uh, a mask. Yeah, if that if little bits of fiber and stuff yeah. get in the area, you don't want to breathe it in. It's not easy to work with that material. We've worked with it. Really? Yes. Just protect okay. yourself, because either you protect you're, yourself. You'll get uh, what is it? Fiberglass in your eye. Oh, and on your hands yeah, too. Yeah, we don't want you, the instrument. You to definitely want to uh, yeah. definitely want to glove up. Gloves. Yeah, I think you're making more of it than it needs to be. It's a home and, kit. And Mike and a, con- a home kit. A condom for sure. Yeah, it's a kit that literally says for the garage door that I bought at uh no, at okay. Laos. Might be different then. Mm, We're working with industrial I to, grade. I went to Laos. Uh, it's yeah. the same crap. I don't yeah, know. I've never, seen, I've never seen a kit for a garage, but I'm, it m- I'm might have a layer of uh, foam on it. Cool. Lousy I could go out to the garage. Yeah, I'd love, love to see it. If you could grab it, I'd love yeah. to see it. Well, it's awfully bulky. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I really don't want to well, make that. You offer it. Was a thing well, no, I put headphones on. I put my IFB yeah, like I've style seated. headphones. Mm-hmm. I'm seated. 
I'm ready to go. Did you and, speak uh, to anyone at Laos about it, or did you just say that's no, the I, thing? No, I, yeah, well, I did and I didn't. I mean, early I did. I did a, I did a, uh, I did a run through where mm. I went over there just to check it out, and then I actually, in earnest, last week made the uh, the purchase. Uh, and really, I think some of these panels actually um, are fit to fit into. The actual space it, that's in there. Well, that's because I, of the standard garage door construction. I agree with Mike. Construction. Mm-hmm. The, I, I, I recall him, we were discussing this product a while ago, and it does make sense. It just slides right into the garage. It attenuates the sound in the garage. I had a question come from uh, uh, from the peanut gallery. If if Mike isn't running, it was if Mike isn't planning to run the AC 24-7 in right. the garage. Mm-hmm. Oh, will, will I that, will have it on. Yes. I will have it on the whole time. I yeah. can't wait. Yeah, uh, and I've tested it. It's uh, the only thing we have to do is figure out how to make it not uh, freezing in there. Got it. To got be it. perfectly honest, that's how good it that's is. Great oh, that's for how, great. great for broadcast. That, that's that's how uh, efficient, overbuilt it is for the great, for the great, space. Great. And uh, there's and as nothing Oscar better than being me, an, uh, having an overpowered air conditioner. It's the greatest thing in the world. Oscar informed me last week that I should be on the lookout for uh, the equipment that's coming down drape. here. He said that to me on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. As of now, uh, hold on. There it is. Yeah. Nothing so far. That said, it's supposed to arrive today. It's today? That's what it says on Amazon. I don't know okay. what to tell you. I don't, I'm, not, right. I'm, not, I'm not the shipper. You're not. Right. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the shippee. No, you're not actually. No, he's what the shippee. I? You're Am the, I the Pinto? You're the orderer. Or the Santa Maria. No. Now, there's only one Pinta. Uh, Pinta. piece of uh, Pinto stuff beans. that's that's problematic, and yeah. that is... Uh, we need a rug. Oh, we... Okay. Well, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We or... Uh, could you get one before well, we Well, I'll do that. Yeah. That's going to be my contribution 20 by 20. to everything. Yeah, you need 20 a rug by 20. That, Mike, you need a rug 20. that really ties the room together. No, I don't care about the colors. Black is best. If you want to go with a pop of color maroon, nothing crazy. Don't go Florida on me with your turquoise. Something, something just black maroon or would be maroon. Nice. Yeah, It'd be like coming into the Oscars. Yeah. Pottery Barn. I was the pot, a really thick rug. Yeah, really plush, plush, high pile. Pottery Barn. Why don't Beautiful. I just uh, Why don't I just get gold leaf and sprinkle it on the floor? <laughs> it doesn't really hold sound as well as a rug, but you could do twenty that. by twenty though. Yes, if you go feet, because well, your garage is <laughs> technically twenty by twenty, maybe. Maybe just uh, nineteen by nineteen. If they, if they don't think they sell them nineteen. You know by what? 19. I will pre-scope that. Yes, and we'll make a final call when you're down here, because mm, that can be I don't acquired. Like pick up a rug with no, no, that's you're a not going to have. You're not going to have to. Who's going to go? That's something. Me. Oh no! Mike, and then it turns into me and then Rob. You got to you know, know that a I know twenty how that works. A twenty foot rug roll. What's wrong with him? Has he been traveling too much? What no, the hell is wrong with him? A rug today? needs to be rolled out. It's going to be lumpy and like bah, like all wavy. We rather like lay on. I'll the put ground. a twenty twenty. Uh, it'll be here when you get on okay. when you get your asses off the Unroll, effing plane. Please, and don't, lay it out. don't underscore or don't ignore how big a twenty foot rug is rolled yeah keep in mind that's two and a half times Gee, your, is it 20 feet well, you, well you, we're it's easy to, help, to say that mock me. but keep in mind that's like three times as you that's like three of you stacked up that's a big rug really that would be uh that would be fabric. almost uh 20 feet exactly i think i had a 10 by 15 my old condo and that's actually still i've big. shrunk rob it would be four of me Five? And it was I'm so- actually down to five feet now. It was, <laughs> well, you're I, not getting any younger. I don't think it's right. the it's the actual size about it's the heft of that rug. Well, no, nah. the heft is it's going to be heavy, but also heavy. you know what I'll do, Oscar. You know what I'll do? Yes. I'll uh, I'll text you when I'm out uh, taking Great. a peek. Perfect. Good. Perfect. We did it uh, this weekend, by the way. Yeah. I like it. We uh, we did some. Uh, they were they were small. I don't think that you I'm going to be able to acquire this at your standard box store if I'm not home, mistaken. Home Goods. They have a plethora think, of pinatas there. Okay, I think that the the larger ones would be at a store yeah. like that, mm-hmm. not it. at uh, at the Depot or, or at the Lowe's. Or you get a nice. Do they call them Oriental rugs still? Gosh, I guess they do. They do. Yeah. yeah. If I if I stand on it, you'll stand behind it. Exactly. Um yes, you can get one of those and it could be almost like a, a throwback to Electric Ladyland. What? What are you even talking electric about? Electric Ladyland? What the hell, what is, the hell is, is that? The, the album by the, Jimmy the, Hendrix. Yeah, the studio in New York had uh I remember had an orange <laughs> Boxy Lady. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think never it's understood be that. it. Yeah. No, he had a talent on the guitar. Never understood it. Sorry, just not a fan. Never been a fan. <laughs> you know, Mike, I'm actually with you there. I yeah. am. And if not you a Hendrix guy. If never you ever need been. to get that rug clean, Mike. Count on us for all your oriental rug cleaning needs. I think I met him. Yeah, you did. If you stand on it. If you stand on it. We stand behind it. Wait, Oscar. You know, um, thank you. Beautiful. I will tell you this. Uh, down here where I live, I don't know about you up in Northern Virginia, but down here in uh, Southwest Florida, Really hard to find floor coverings. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. What do you think these man cuts do all day long? Yeah, Want to change you? it. Want to change it. Yeah. I'm serious about the, and since we're going to the House of Blues, you know, we're just, I'm excited for this trip. Yes. Oh, yeah, by the way, that, there will be set aside some time for uh, the three of us show to plan. have a show yeah. face-to-face show, show plan. planning session. Mm-hmm. Do you, uh, you I have could. a wonderful idea that I want to share with you. Did you acquire your uh, screen? Are we capable of a video presentation at this show? I don't. I rather not tell everybody what we're going to do. Once again, I understand. Yes, Sorry. let's talk about that off there, please. All right. Uh, so, God, what? I have a kick me sign. No. Off there? <laughs> just you know, I don't talk to you before the show. I just decided you, I'd throw it out there anytime. now because everything's sort of coming there's a tap if you quickly if, do you recall that in the founders room of the house of blues mm-hmm. instilled with confidence by the way after reading jolene white's post i didn't i have not maybe something I have, along I the lines of please wait till the show is sold out to start selling your tickets no this is a secondary market it's been around forever yeah i understand i'm just you know me right you know me yes if, that's the way i get you know if you're and, gonna be unhappy be unhappy don't make us unhappy you know, what you- we're, we're, we're full of positive, uh, optimistic, excited energy. Well, somebody's got to be the Debbie Downer in this trifecta. <laughs> somebody's got to be the realist. It's usually Pony. He's the one that comes yeah, in depressed. That's true. I understand. pictures of your kids online. Just a lot They'll going do- on. There's a lot going on. Kind of concentrated into one thing. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. Uh, but to be honest with you, a lot of legwork's been done down here uh, in preparation. They'll be having to, we'll be probably moving stuff out and uh, making room for you guys, but not really. You've got a corner of the... Uh, yeah. the space that's going to be dedicated to this show. And then uh, the other thing that I'm concerned most about will be how uh, I'm actually going to do a, a really scientific sound check by having my son stand outside of the door and go, hi, Dad. And then uh, after I get done with everything popped in there, I'll do it again and see if it's... What's the... the little, uh, uh, go ahead, Oscar. I'm sorry. Uh, stop me in my tracks. This is real-time processing people. Yeah. Welcome to our world. I thought the garage was going to be dedicated to the studio. Because the amount of equipment that we're bringing down... It's a lot. The table alone is 60, 60 inches. That's, I mean, the floor... Yeah, but it's, that's fine. It's still, we're still going to have other walls. Uh, you know, and we're going to have those modular... What's the confusion here? What's the confusion? Just it's, the it's sheer going pipe to be and a, drape a, that's coming to your house I've said, is for the entire I, garage. Well, I, well, that's fine. That's fine. But I've also uh, allotted for, you know, a seating area out there, you know, to, uh, to chill out and, uh, you know... That we're gonna. When you say that you've allotted a corner for your studio, how much is that probably in footage? Same as it would be for the the space that we have in here, you know, only with a, a lot more elbow room. There's been a large. I mean, I'm sorry. There's been. There might have been miscommunication. In what way? I was under the impression that you the table was going to go in the center of your garage, which would be the center of the room would allow for multiple angles or a wide shot of when you whatever have you think is best I, but i have a workbench in there just want to make sure it and fits. I, I i basically have one giant uh tool uh you know chest that's in there on a, on a yeah i mean really sure you usually have in garage i yeah, just, where I just, I have just felt for, like there was you know like stuff like that and, and really the place has been uh, the place has been cleaned out okay. i mean it's good. Uh, there's okay. not good, there's good. not a lot in there but uh, there. The only other tables in there are tables that uh, we have kept uh, because if people want to come in and hang out, as we also discussed, to say Correct. witness the show, Correct. we would have a comfortable seating area. So that's sure. pretty much also studio related to a I, degree. No, it is. I just. I'm, I'm sorry. You made it seem like there was like a, a 
an, uh, what is a sectional in there that we weren't aware of. That's all. It was. No, I'd like to have kind of a you know fun hangout bed. place where <laughs> the trundle no, bed will be in there. No, you'll the, make, the make whole idea around. is freeing up this space. Yeah. For uh, this now, I don't even know if you want my. A uh, little drummy drummies in there. You had said that would be okay. Yeah, but the drums are so. fine. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's it. I mean, okay. uh, other than that, everything else would be. Are we going to be able I, to do the, the bulk of the work? Sh- mouth, mouth. Hold yeah. on just a second. All right, go ahead. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm feeling attacked here, and I'm no, defending myself. You must. So yeah, we're nice, I, though. my impression was uh, the stuff. What? Hold on just a second. Okay. I did not text the rug. No, cold. I know you did. The rug. Yeah. Uh, I did. No, listen. I have thought. The whole shmia. <laughs> we'll get to your uh, dental habits in a minute. Uh, but anyway, uh, so the point I was trying to make is everything uh, that I have allotted for that that space. Yes, is periphery. So oh, great. I it's pictured the room. that Correct. the what you called the modular curtains. I, I, uh, would I, I, kind I, of enclose the space, correct? Like a boxing and then ring. some of the up, the the uh, storage space that we have above, yes. could also be perhaps used for Lights. lighting mounting, correct, correct, and correct. stuff like that. Yeah, we're on the so page. on the peripheral now. The, so the question is really how much of the peripheral space will be necessary to uh, do this? You know, if you're talking about putting the curtains up against the wall, then, we'll, then we're going to have an issue because I need a little extra space to put things. You know, I've got a water heater in there. Uh, you know, I've got a uh, breaker box in there. So there are things out that, that are on the wall. Yeah, well, but we don't space need to is, fix them. To, that they have, the space they have is th- four times, maybe three times larger than the space in here. So I don't think we're going to have a problem. Even it's with relative the to what's table. in the space. That's it. And the pipe, I, and the pipe and drape system is very, yeah. very adaptable yes and it'll allow mm-hmm. you access to your water heater which i hope it's you gonna don't work need. out it's all coming breaker. in your house yeah. anyways i'm sure we can ship it yeah. back when it said yeah. no returns uh hello no, no uh no yeah returns. mike o'mara show hello hey mr o'mara this is pedro from the of you how are you oh hi how are you i gotta call you back i'm taping right now pedro thank you what? bottoms view all right buddy I thank you Bye-bye. music oh music is it from giant music what we we didn't hear who we were. What is, was it Yo, Wal- you weren't supposed to, Rob. Walden Books. It was it Walden Books. Uh, I don't think so. Online, uh, but anyhow. So I think uh, you know uh, it'll be it'll work uh, out. Yeah. fine. Are we going to be able to do the bulk of the work with the garage door shut? Because I have an image of a lot of looky loos coming around your neighborhood with their of course, hands on their the hips. That's the whole point of the AC. Saying, you what are you? What are you doing in yeah, there, neighbor? Uh, are you no. really asking me that question? No. Well, don't you think? Like what? You think I'd keep it open? Well, don't you think that? Your neighbors would be quite interested to see what's going on. Yes, and I'd love to share it with them. No. <laughs> what? No. Just, I we, had a no. We, we don't, we don't, why, why would we ever Duh. do that? You don't want people to come and break in his garage and steal all this equipment. Precisely. No, I, I, okay. Listen, one of the one of the main. Well, no, it wasn't the main reason. The main reason was that I'm going to be working out there. But to get it done when I got it done was because if we have, which now is predicted to be. Uh, upper 80s to near 90 degrees, mm-hmm. you guys uh, will be in there Not working sweating. in That's right. air yes. yes. comfort. Okay. And Excellent. by the way, the soundproofing is also insulation, which will assist that as well uh, so that you will be in wonderful comfort. What's, and what, I think it's what's the be saying? Is it a moth to a flame? Is that the same? Like a moth to a flame. Like yes. a moth to a flame is a microphone to a meth head. If he leaves his garage open They'll and one of those come. meth heads walk yeah. by in Florida, then boom. Um, let me make myself yes. very clear. There might be a load in, uh, that, uh, that begins before you guys Bring get down, which, yeah. which I am going to do. No, we'll load in, uh, Mike. We yeah. got to load in. No, I mean, if it gets here, I'm going to put it in because I don't want it happening when, but it doesn't matter. Whenever yeah. it gets here, right. there'll be a load in. And when that door is closed, that door is closed until we flip it back to the original purpose excellent because okay. yeah, that that's uh yeah. well you really thought i was going to leave it open well no i was just trying to think ahead he doesn't travel much. that's the problem thinking that's the problem <laughs> thank you uh, mm-hmm. mr bloom yes i predict didn't mean to wake you <laughs> sorry i keep my mic muted what's up <laughs> thank you for commuting that uh do you see i keep my mic muted and then when you call on me i turn it back do on you- like this do you see? Do you see, Have you heard within this 
I mean, this is all, we're setting ourselves up for success, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's really not a lot of crime in Florida ever. I've never really heard much at all. Uh, this will be perfectly fine. As long as you, as long well, as you well, keep that door what shut. What is going on this morning? It's the beginning of the week. Oh, by the way, we will be dark uh, Thursday and Friday, correct? I thought we'd sneak in the show and then work. When? On Thursday and Friday, because we'll be down there. No, you're coming in Thursday, like well, Thursday, one o'clock in the, the afternoon. No, Thursday, we record in the early morning at right. eight. And then we go to the airport and then Okay. Yeah, then we'll yeah. see we'll see we'll see you online okay. and then we'll see you on there. You mm-hmm. mean you you but, but do you think uh that we'll be able to record build a show? out by Friday? Friday. I think uh, that's gonna half be, the fun of it, right? Be like how are we going to do this t- and then we're like in the garage well, the big we'll echo. See. We'll see. And we can just yell at each other. It'll the struggle, show. Mike. He loves the struggle. <laughs> what? We're entertainers. We like to entertain. That's going to f up the build out. Am I? Because Friday is a work day. Friday is is wake up in the morning, nose to the grindstone. I thought Friday was treat day. Yeah, I thought I thought it was treat day. <laughs> we should really have these conversations. You asked on air. I'm telling you how air. I feel about it. You're yeah. the boss at the well, end of the day. How you, you feel do? about it? Well, how I feel about it? We'll take your is lead. that you know I was thinking about you guys uh, going to the <laughs> airport for a we're flying see, out of DC. Uh, We're flying out of DCA. About 10 45, 11 o'clock is your flight? Our flight is. It's one ish, isn't it's it? It's one ish. Yeah. We get in at three. I thought it was arriving at one ish. No. No. Double check. I, 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 tr- I, I remember wanting, I said, if we leave around one, we can do the show. Well, that's absolutely true. I thought you were leaving earlier. Yeah, all these podcasters out there that take travel days and all the stuff, like, I don't even understand. This is, this is, if you got a studio, just do a show. Do it, man. Yeah. Right. I think we leave at one, yeah. I disagree. (laughs) (laughs) Fucker. (laughs) All right. Uh, Hold on just a second. Yeah, we depart DCA at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, okay. So you get here in the evening. We could actually start at 9 a.m. regular time. We arrive 3.55, Mike. All right. So, uh, yeah, that makes sense. All right. So that uh, answers that question. And uh, So show Thursday... And then maybe a bonus on Friday, depending on how the build out goes. Do you know I've yeah, never I mean, gotten off a plane sober? Really? <laughs> I don't think Didn't so. Didn't you just fly to uh, Florida? Yeah, it was that was before all that though? Wasn't no, you it? just went oh, to that's Florida. right. You know what? You're right. But I that was <laughs> just never gotten off a plane without Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Be- no, you're right. It yeah. was a one way flight though. Yeah, yeah I had He's never done d- uh, what is a round trip sober. A round trip sober. <laughs> That's exactly right. I've never gotten off a plane sober except last week. <laughs> By the way, are you planning on keeping the garage door open so the neighbors can see what's going on? That's uh, I'm just repeating some of the things you've said on the show today. Very Mike, confusing. I just that you see what I asked was will it will it Are you point- nervous about your dental appointment? Is that what it is? Not excited After about it. After nine years of... Uh, yeah. Hasn't been nine years. Hasn't been nine years. It's been a while, though. It's Pre-COVID. A, yes. And I probably was about due pre-COVID. Now, it's funny. I was talking... You want to give us a year? Uh, Jimmy Carter was president. and uh, no, no. Seriously? Prior to 2020, Yeah, right? it was probably... The last time I went to the dentist was probably 2019. <laughs> I'll find out for sure today. Now, I've got a dental procedure this week. Everything. Ha- you know what I've learned yes. about planning? What's at that? At least that's the way I look at it. Everything happens at the exact same time. How do you mean? Well, uh, I remember back in Washington, D.C., there was a particular week in May when everyone did everything. Every outdoor festival, every party at a friend's house, every uh, school activity, and they all fell on one weekend. And it was insane. Down here, uh, that week happens to be this week in March. I believe that with all my... I have never seen it more crowded. It's always right before uh, they beat feet out of here that they're down here. And so... I've spring noticed break. that, yeah, this is, but that, that's what they actually say at Spring Bride. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're getting to Florida just in time for the poop smelling seaweed to hit I our shores. I want to make you happy. There she is. I want us there all is. to fall in love. Let's cause some trouble now. <laughs> Live life to the fullest. Yes. Spring Break. 
Spring break forever. <laughs> That's nice. The movie has not aged well. It wasn't that good to begin with. Well, just the idea, you know, the old, you know just the, the, where James Franco was then in his career to where he is now. Well, it's certainly a highlight in his career. <laughs> I don't think he played, as you recall, Mike, he played Alien in the movie. Yeah. Spring Break. Alien. That's, a dis- that's one seriously disturbing It film. really yeah. is. Now, I'm not uh, I don't know if you're planning. aware, and I wasn't planning to talk about this, but over in Miami, mm-hmm. they have uh, implemented a curfew. Yeah. Uh, starting at midnight, based on two shootings yes. this week for uh, spring break. It's tough. It's for- terrifying, really. It I mean, is. if you're a, if you're a parent of a teenager, um, I would imagine it's one of the scariest things of all. I, I just and you're I, in you the know, states. Yeah, I, it's it's terrifying. Yeah, when you think about just the potential for bad stuff. Did you happening. see the mayor yeah. of Miami saying, "All I asked was nobody bring firearms. Mm-hmm. That's all I asked." I said, well, maybe you need to set the bar a little higher than that. It's a little scary. Yeah. It's, it's, but uh, down here, there the big story is this incredible uh, wide, continent wide right? uh, mass of seaweed. Let's, is, go, to uh, our, let's go to our news coverage, all right? It's really big. It's bigger than 2018. The message is this will be another major cycle in year, and it will come what? to us sooner or later. It's going to hit us sooner or later. It is twice the size of America, I think. It is. It is. The continent. A blob of seaweed. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. And, of course, it stinks. They said it stinks, Mm -hmm. which is hysterically funny. This isn't the red tide, right? No. This is is on top of the red tide. So uh, (laughs) if you're you're any kind of marine life Mm -hmm. off the coast of uh, the Gulf Coast of Florida, this is you now. No. Uh, but getting back to our Oscar little project, and I were actually going to come in on the blob. Yeah, we're going to ride we, it. We didn't. We didn't. Gonna, this we didn't equipment is heavy. Ever. It's got to be uh, something. We Not here yet. <laughs> Not here. Like one hundred percent. I think it's down in the keys now. Yeah, making its way it gets around there the keys. Three fifty-five on Friday. So amazing. yeah. So I think it's going to be fine, and I think that we are on the same page. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I want to make sure that uh, you know you said we're going to be have aware. Fun. That stuff fun. will be coming in, yes. right. and so I'm uh, mindful of that. Uh, I have the Let me guy give you a real time uh, pipe and drape update. Okay, uh, this is so, exciting. So isn't that, it? so that's uh, yeah, and I'm really kind of excited about. It's going to be uh, cool. You know what I'm excited about the most? Lighting. I'm really yes. excited yes. about lighting. That's why Shannon's uh, coming down. I'm really, really. Uh, super psyched to to have you guys get your hands on the equipment that uh, that you've never touched down here, and uh, I'm really really jacked about it. And hopefully, I'll tell the guy what to do tomorrow, and we'll have a. Can you uh, have him install a few outlets? Uh, power outlets. While he's, while he's power outlets. Yeah. Uh, well, we got. A, we oh, you just got it because your your air conditioning's in the ceiling, right? Yeah, and we the have. Uh, you good? We have three in there already I well, some power strips you'll be fine yeah good yeah and you're gonna uh, marvel at what shannon can do with lighting she's pretty amazing so, okay I, it's gonna yeah. be well, it's, uh, it's over, gonna so. be a lot of fun and uh outside it's of that funny. a 20 by 20 uh rug and uh, okay arriving today to 2 to 5 p.m C- confirmation i don't have to be here do Boom, i bam there it is no they'll just drop a box outside and say good luck sir and, and okay. oscar has uh, ordered more uh hair gel it looks oh, yes, like yes now that, that I was see for it, me personally yeah the pomade um, all right, so we're we're looking forward to this, and uh, it'll be you'll be coming in Thursday evening, which means uh, I will plan on taking you all out for a little repast on Friday evening, as opposed to Thursday, which we were well, originally planning. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing. Well, what are we gonna do Thursday we'll night then? Uh, I'll, stare at uh, each other? I'm gonna I'm gonna cook oh, for okay. ye. I was gonna bring a can of beans, please. Yeah, I'm gonna cook. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cook some uh, yeah. some stuff. We're on like, the we're low minutes, you. Mike. We are. Yeah. I know you're low minutes, yeah. but I want I want it to be a look. It's a working visit, I know, but I want you to have a little fun and a little. What, uh, you what know, are cool the time sleeping like arrangements? That. Sleeping arrangements are Michael's going to come in with us. Okay, uh, you and uh, Shannon will get Michael's Love room, it. very comfortable uh, bed for done you, and, done. and Rob will get his own bed in what will be. Uh, Your former studio. Though, in fact, we will have one bit of work to do. Yes. On Thursday when you get here, and that'll be getting the stuff out of here. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, and easy. then we're going to move the Rob's bed easy in. And it's and plenty easy. strong, this bed? This is what... Um, yeah, I think you'll be able to handle it. It's It slept too when my daughter was here. So oh, yeah, I think but you'll be still, able. I'll have to remain well, still. Well, wait a minute. I thought, <laughs> no, aren't you, you're I'm not kidding. fat again, are you? No, I'm not fat again. I'm okay. Kidding. Has he gained weight back? No. Some. 
Uh, about 15 pounds. Maybe 50. Um, okay. Not 50. 50. So, no, sorry. one <laughs> sorry, five. Sorry, slip. 15. 15. Sorry. Yes. Um, do you... Do, <laughs> <laughs> is he fat again? He has a name. <laughs> is Rob fat again? Did he gain weight again? That sounds like a restaurant. Fat again. Do, do you fat? It does. I'd yeah, buy. you TJ sound like fat again. I'd invest. You sound do like you, an asshole. Do you think? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Suddenly so, the mood darkens. If, Not fat If any again. type of floor covering can be installed prior to our arriving, because once the equipment is moved from your You've studio. You've made that clear. You've made that clear. I will. We'd have crystal. To, we'd have that's, to, job, we'd have that's job one, yeah, Crystal. Job. Thank you. Son, we live in a world. <laughs> now, if they do offer him like a thin I'd pad. Rather say, I'd rather you say thank you and go on your way. Either way, I don't care what you think you're entitled to. A rug pad for under the rug? Yeah, so the rug pad and a thin rug because we need to, uh, your chair needs to be able to roll on the rug. Also, the thing well, is. Well, the chair uh, does not need to roll on the rug because I will use a platform for the chair to roll, which oh. I've used since I've okay. been. Don't you guys have those? Yeah. But, but, no, not, but my well, concern we don't is want you our don't chairs want... to roll because we want people to be stationary within their camera. But I know that you're going to be doing like paint poker on there. So who knows what you're going to spill on that table? You know. But we don't want your rug also to shift around, and a lot of times a pad will keep the rug more stationary. <laughs> what am I doing? I, I mean, this guy. I have, <laughs> are, are our I seats together on the they plane? They are. They are. Oh. No, no. I, I haven't have spilled, spilled anything. Thank you. Yeah. Just one way though. I haven't spilled anything in here. Yeah. Since I've been doing this show, except and I have like one of, your guts. I have a tumbler of forty-one <laughs> ounces of yes. liquid IV mm-hmm. every yes. day, every and the whole tray, and I don't spill it. You know, we, we will have, have to go to Guitar Center though for some extra accoutrement as it comes up. Yeah, well, you know, you need it stuff. You forget. Yeah, well, the, it's a hall, thing. but that's fine. No, that's no problem. That would be a, a hall, good thing. A to hall where I live is not a hall where you guys live. No. You could send Carla to do it. No, I'm talking about like for some extra XLRs. No, wouldn't yeah, that be my job? No, we'd have to go with you so you don't buy the wrong thing. So. I'm not dumb. I am not stupid. I can do these things. Maybe the problem is is you're thinking too much. <laughs> I've been oh, accused you, of a this. Little, little right back at me. Oh, God. Dude, keep the garage door Excuse open me. so the neighbors can have a look. <laughs> Duh. Don't we want to catch a breeze? I'm bringing my Birkenstocks. Don't I will pack them. <laughs> Try to put it back on me, Tooth. <laughs> anyway, uh, how's the breath? Because it's, you've uh, I have you had ever. sick breath? No. Mm-mm. I right. you see, I floss every day. I yeah. brush every any, day. Any discomfort while chewing? Only uh, have cold you, you have things. Any, well, do you have any <laughs> any like teeth that might be? No, that's a long time of neglect. It is a long time of for neglect. Your soft teeth. My soft. My <laughs> buttery soft, soft teeth, teeth with all the alcohol rubbed off the enamel. Wait, you know what? But since I have, I'm pretty much off coffee and caffeinated beverages. They are you really? Pretty much. I have a couple. Oh, of that's funny because on my show prep today, I put in uh, coffee questions, and I guess you won't be able to participate. Well, I have a cup. I'll, I'll have a cup or two on the weekends, but I'm not an everyday coffee guy, and very seldom do I have a Coke anymore. Is that a liver thing, coffee? Uh, no, actually, coffee started as a diabetes thing because the caffeine plays havoc with your blood sugar, mm-hmm. can cause it to spike. And so when I got off caffeine, I used to be such Remember a caffeine- Remember that when I get my blood work. I used to be such a caffeine junkie. I said, if I can do without this on a daily basis, I probably should purge caffeine from my life. We'll because, talk about coffee. I yeah. want to talk about coffee later on in the yeah. show. I'm not averse I, to it, and I have an occasional cup, but I'm not heavy into it like some. We're kind of into it. We're like the yeah. whole family's into it now, and this is brand new because I couldn't uh, drink coffee before. But we are really, really looking forward to uh, you guys coming down. It should be a lot of fun. Well, well I, I would say you're looking forward to some of us coming yes. down. Yes. Yeah. We'll have fun. See hey, can we go there. to that Tiger Woods uh, putt, putt golf place? Yeah. You want to go to uh, Pop Stroke? Yes. I've yeah. seen it all over TikTok. I was like, yeah. well, that well, looks like yeah. it's fun and where the wealthy go. What is we will be able to wrap stuff up by yeah. Saturday. Maybe Saturday afternoon it's we like can go over to Pop Stroke. It's a high end uh, putt putt. Ah. I've ne- and by the way, Oscar, I'd love to, and I've never been. Really? My kid's been a bunch of times. Oh. I've never been. Yeah. Shannon loves putt putt. Okay, we'll do yeah. that. We'll go to Pop Stroke. That'll yes. be fun. That'll be Saturday that. night's activity. Great. I done, love, love, done love that and idea. Done. Okay, good. Yeah. I'll probably have to make a reservation now because everybody's here. Is that here, popular? But- uh, I don't know. Man. I don't know because I haven't been over there. I, I'll, I, my babysitter knows all about it. I'll, Can you I'll book us the birthday suite? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll need we'll cake. Get right on the, <laughs> yeah, cake we'll would be great. All right, it was fun. This Sweet was a cake. fun opening segment for me. Thank you. Uh, God, my uh, mouth hurts. Excuse me. 
Uh, when we come back, we've got uh, the home page. Page. Hey. What is wrong with you? Maybe not having food. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll take a break and we will come back with more fun and more thrills on the Mike O'Meara show. Everybody's coming to town. Yay! It's a celebration of the Irish and the Irish and all of us on the latest bonus show. Redheads have a higher tolerance for pain. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I come across more angry people in a day than most of you will ever find in a week. In my family, we had a motto, and that is, if you have nausea, eat yourself through it. We don't get much sun here in Dublin, so I've been on my mother's teat (laughs) since I was a baby. We don't need arrows. Arrows cost money. Send in the Irish. And St. Patrick is the patron saint of strangers peeing in your front garden. (laughs) The TMOS bonus show is that pot of gold at the end of the comedy rainbow. Get a subscription and get laughing today at Mike O'Mara Show. The main side effect is being fabulous. <laughs> oh, that's a funny St. Patrick's Day promo right there. Good job, Jim Amato. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Do your financial goals feel out of reach? No more. With Chime Secured Credit Builder Visa Credit Card, you can start building credit with your own money through on-time payments and small everyday purchases. Members see an increase of 30 points to their credit scores on average, and that can make a difference. Chime reports your payments to the major credit bureaus to help you build credit over time with no annual fees, no large security deposits, or any credit checks to apply. Start making your financial dreams a reality with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score, which is very important. Get started at Chime.com slash TMOS. That's Chime.com slash TMOS. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank N.A. Pursuant to a license from Visa USA, Chime checking account and $200. Qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Based on a study conducted by Experian, or conducted, based on a study conducted by Experian, Credit Builder members observed an average 30-point FICO score 8 increase after 8 months. With regular on-time payments, results may vary. See Chime.com for details. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Accepted money pass ATMs in a 7-Eleven or any all-point or Visa Plus Alliance ATM. So, towel, please! <laughs> From the four corners of the World Wide Woo! Web and into your digital Woo! device, it's what you need to know. Woo! This is the home page <laughs> uh, Sam Neill you all remember Sam Neill from yeah, Jurassic Park sure. movies and a lot of other good stuff Sam Neill recently announced he was diagnosed with stage 3 T-cell lymphoma uh, last year mm. but luckily it's been in remission for 8 months in an interview with the Guardian he said he couldn't care less about dying but it would annoy him <laughs> that's great it's <laughs> that really cool uh, here's his quote I'd really, he whispers all his lines in his movies. I'd really like another decade or two. We've built all these lovely terraces. We've got these olive trees. Uh, I always thought he looked like somebody, but I didn't know who. Mm. I always see him. Sam Neill. Yeah, but I always say, I guess he does look like himself, but when you see him, say he looks like somebody, but I don't know who it is. So talking about his olive trees and cypresses, he says, I want to be around to see it all mature, and I've got my lovely little grandchildren. So he prioritizes the trees over his grandchildren. Says a lot. Anyway, uh, I want to see them get big. Uh, Since his interview, Sam posted a video on social media about how tiresome it is to see headlines about his cancer when he says he's alive and kicking. I can imagine that would be a little difficult. He said he starts filming a series soon called Apples Never Fall for Peacock. He's also promoting his new memoir called Did I Ever Tell You This? He wrote it while undergoing treatment. It comes out tomorrow, so that's why he's doing these uh, press tours. So there you have Mike, it. Mike, while you mentioned Peacock, have you looked at Poker Face yet? Uh, yes, yes. I um, just finished the whole season, and it's somehow- I don't like her. If you don't like her, you're not going to oh, like her. Oh, she's the best. She's so great, and the writing gets better as the season progresses. I just, I wish you would stay with it. It's a this modern- is a very <clears throat> obscure reference okay. to okay. this show. And Rob might get it. Uh, Oscar, I don't know if you will, but when I, when I look at her, all I can think of is- Pee Wee's Big Adventure and his girlfriend. Yes. That's what I think of. I can when see I that. And I'm trying to think of her name. Um, Simone. Simone. No. Simone is the French waitress. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forget. Um, uh, wait, wait. Now it's going to make large me think Large Marge. Of it. No, it's not Large no, Marge. Not, not, oh, man. Dottie. 
Dottie. Thank Dottie. you. Good I did call. not have to look it up, but I, we both knew it was there. Yeah. Hey, the cast of Ted Lasso will be at the White House today. It's going to be in your town, Washington, D.C. They will be discussing the importance of mental health with President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden. Biden teased the meeting by tweeting a photo of the Oval Office with a yellow sign that says believe above mm. the doorway like in the show. Apple said, quote, Ted Lasso has inspired the world through its universal themes around optimism, kindness and determination and the Lasso philosophy to believe. I Look, I, I rarely agree with a superlative like that when they describe the show. But can you think of another a piece of pop culture that's no. done more for the heth than well, <coughs> well no, and it landed at a perfect time a, for it a, too. A million dollars an episode for the lead, Sudeikis. Mm-hmm. Mm. This season, and remember, it's, he's George Wentz's nephew. Yes, yes. I watched episode one of season three, and I will tell you, uh, I think it picked up where it left off. And As it's good. still fun. It's still fun, and it still has the tear-jerking stuff good. with the positive stuff. And yeah, is everything a home run? Absolutely not, like any TV show, but there's enough in there. <laughs> and there's just funniness. I love it. Any, I mean, you, you guys were first to the party. I was late to the party. <laughs> no, but uh, pretty close with what's-her-name in that show. You know, the, the uh, owner? The owner? Well, not the owner, but the uh, the the assistant that used to work the for coach. Oh, oh, the I gentleman? know what you mean. Yeah, the, the young lady, <laughs> topless, not the him. The T-O-P. assistant coach, the coach's L-E-S-S. parents. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll we'll let you know how that Ted Lasso meeting goes. Okay. So, and I thought they said they, they did it all over in England. Courtney uh, Love attacked the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame again for underrepresenting women, and Chrissy Hind of the Pretenders called the hall total bullocks. <laughs> and said it has, quote, absolutely nothing to do with rock and roll. Courtney noted that only nine of the 31 people on the hall's nominating board are women, and about 90% of the voters are men. If the Rock and Roll uh, Hall of Fame cannot properly honor what visionary women artists have created, innovated, revolutionized, and contributed to popular music, well, then let it all go to hell in a handbag. Also, yeah, I'll, I'll make my comment about this at the end. Okay. Or maybe I have to make it now. Look, it's a Hall of Fame. It's not the music. Yeah, it's, it's not, not real. what it's all about. Uh, on Friday, Chrissy Heim went off on the Rock and Roll Hall in a Facebook post where she suggested that she'd give away her position in it if anyone wanted it. She was inducted in 05 as a member of the Pretenders. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Love that. Uh, Chrissy says she only accepted the induction to make her parents happy. She added, quote, the whole thing was and is total bollocks. <laughs> you know what that is, it's Mike? A- That's hindsight. It's absolutely nothing to do with rock and roll, and anyone who thinks it is is a fool. I look at it as just a pretty good show when they put I it. I refuse yeah. to recognize the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame until they honor Ann Murray. Yes. Snowbird. <laughs> oh, no. Is that, uh, That's is that her? Ann Murray? Yeah, she did yeah. that. Danny's oh, song. Snowbird when you I don't know. <laughs> I've always gotten the impression that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, based in Cleveland, yes. which was where there was a lot of record duck activity mm-hmm. back mm-hmm. in the day, is a creation of the recording industry, and I agree. It's not pure rock and roll. There are way too many artists that they let in, and I think it ought to be more uh, confined to that genre if you're going to call it that they'll tell know. you that they chose cleveland because that's where alan freed got his start the first rock and roll disc jockey that's what Who they'll coined tell you. the term exactly right? mm-hmm. rock and roll happy first day of spring everyone yay temps are set to rise for most of the usa this week including down here fellas so be aware it should start to feel more like spring for a lot of people a recent poll found spring is our favorite season but it's close to uh 30 percent 29% said fall, 28% summer, and just 10%, Rob Spiewak, liked winter Love the best. winter, yeah. Uh, where you live has a lot to do with it. People up north are less likely to say spring is their favorite. The states that like it the most are South Carolina, Arizona, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Oklahoma. Uh, here's something for everyone, though. The first day of spring, doesn't matter where you live, yeah. it's free cone day mm. at Dairy mm. Queen. Hey! So go get yourself a free cone. You can walk in and get a free small vanilla uh, soft serve. 
today. No purchase necessary. Ben and Jerry's is also doing a free cone day for the first time in four years. But you'll have to wait a couple more weeks. That's going to be not until April 3rd. Okay. But uh, go get some of that we good have a, we have a Jerry's We have a DQ. Cream. Mike, uh, do you have your explosives handy? I do, absolutely. Uh, because uh, I hope you can all enjoy this. For the first day of spring, Ellie Mae's spring song from the Beverly Hillbillies. It's the first day of spring and Granny's whomping up her tonic for to give drunk. Thank you. Didn't take long. You were right about no. that one. Just want to Good make sure you were ready call. for it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ellie Mae. A lot of people talk about Southern hospitality, Ellie Mae, but uh, there's a report. <laughs> there's a report that's come out on the most polite states in the U.S., and it highlights different parts of the country. Mm. The report analyzed uh, Google searches including polite terms like please, thanks, excuse me, beg your pardon, uh, <laughs> cheers, uh, friendly, sir, and thoughtful. In the end, I'll uh, let you throw out a guess. What do you think was the friendliest state and most polite? Gotta Not be friendliest, the most polite state. Gotta be Indiana. <laughs> that is incorrect. I am terribly sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you guess just for Mike. Uh, sorry about that. I would say, Mike, is it in the southern portion of the United States? It is not. Oh, wow. Uh, North Dakota. Very close. Montana mm. ah. was named the most polite state with more than 270,000 searches. Uh, Vermont was second. What a boy, Vermont gets so many nice, nice people. Categories. Vermont. Alabama next. Uh, Minnesota, Delaware, Wyoming, Arkansas, Utah, Hawaii, and Idaho. On the other end of things, the Rudy Rude state. Yes. All right. California might need a little help with their manners. Uh, much bigger population, but they had only 10 searches. Uh, for all those what nice are terms. you doing kansas second meanest impolite state followed by illinois louisiana michigan pennsylvania oregon massachusetts florida there you yeah, go yeah baby yeah and uh, west virginia mm. mean down here very mean down here all the Mike, time but you're there to change that yeah Yes, I'm always nice to everyone. No, I'm not. I'm Please, sorry about that. May I have a 20 foot rug? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. What a lovely choice. <laughs> Woo! Now, a little something, something. Uh, six scientists. Science! Science! Uh, swallowed Lego figures, uh, the Lego figure heads, to uh, find out how long it takes to poop them out. While it may sound like a joke, pediatric healthcare professionals really did purposefully ingest the small Lego heads for a study. And while the whole thing may sound like a bit of a joke and was probably uh, quite difficult for the researchers to explain to their loved ones, the study did have a serious purpose. As parents of small children can attest, youngsters love eating things that aren't designed to be eaten. Mm -hmm. Occasionally with extremely dangerous results. Summing up their findings, the team wrote, a toy, and what little boy or girl doesn't like a toy? <laughs> a toy object quickly passes through adult subjects with no complications. This will reassure parents, and the authors advocate that no parent should be expected to search through their child's feces to provide uh, to prove object retrieval. So in other words, they're saying it goes through the system. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Don't have to dwell. It will pass. Uh, of course... Don't look through the feces unless you really, really want to finish that pirate ship. Oh, you know <laughs> oh my God. This pirate ship smells like poo. Like, wasn't a similar study sponsored last year by the corn growers of America? Mm. No, no. Jimmy and I did a beer study and we ate cans. <laughs> That's what we did, everybody. Lots of fun. Hey, we'll take a break. We'll come back with uh, lots more on the Michael Barra Show. He's a desperado that there takes care of business. So. I'm the wrangler, is what I am. Riding and roping and always getting it done. Did you see me wrangle before the show today? You did. You did a great job. Yeah. Sometimes trouble just follows a man. <laughs> Folks don't know much about him except for his name. The Bolivian wrangler. The Bolivian wrangler. <laughs> Put that on my tombstone. He may not know basic American history. When was the Bay of Pigs? The Roaring Fifties. The Depression was in the 20s. You're insane. But when he wants to wrangle up some goods for the 
office or his hacienda. Aye, that's Spanish for house. He shops at Target and Walmart through the shopping center at MikeOmeraShow.com. And with a few clicks, he can pick it up at the store or have it shipped to his door. You'll thank me for this. Shop like the Bolivian Wrangler because he knows that getting the big deals is mighty satisfying. I'm feeling great. Who was that masked man? He's the Bolivian Wrangler, ladies and gentlemen. And he's, coming, he's coming to your town, Mike. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Here's a question. Why, why do razors cost so much? They don't need to. Harry's razors are incredibly sharp. They're made in their own factory in Germany. Most importantly, they cost as little as two bucks per blade. You can get a quality razor that you can depend on delivered straight to your door from Harry's. We all use Harry's because we all love Harry's. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I can't tell you the last time I changed my blade. It's still sharp. I used it this morning. The best products at the best prices and the packaging amazing as well. Right now, the Truman Shave Trial Set, a $15 value for just $3 at harrys.com slash TMOS. It includes a five-blade German-engineered razor weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. Plus... You can schedule replacement blade delivery whenever you need them with refills as low as two bucks each. Harry's has dozens of affordable items to go along with your subscription, like shaving creams, post-shave balm, balm, body washes, hydrating lotions, and more. And Harry's is still offering a no-risk trial. Don't like you shave, no worries. It's on them. Don't get overcharged for razors, my friend. Get Harry's. A $15 Truman Shave Trial set for just 3 bucks at harrys.com slash TMOS. That's harrys.com slash TMOS for a $3 trial set. Yes, Friday was St. Patty's Day. Incredibly boring in the O'Mara household. Mm. Nothing really going on here outside of my zeal to drink an Irish whiskey after playing a round of golf with my mates and... Uh, Got so excited, apparently. I was on another guy's golf cart, and I got a text over the weekend. By the way, you left your clubs on my golf cart. Wow. And that's how eager I was to go in and have my Later two guys. Irish whiskeys. See ya. You watch yeah. these for Talk me? about these $6,000 I was the clubs. excited. I, yeah. You know, I don't drink like Linda. I used to, So, but when I do. So the only person I was thinking about all weekend was Oscar, because Oscar was planning on getting up middle of the day to Beantown, mm-hmm. which is one of the biggest cities in America for St. Patrick's Day. And I'm curious if, uh, you know, you got out and yes. experienced a little fun with your wife and with your bro. The modern day travel schedule is we leave on time, yes. we arrive on time. Sure. That was pre-pandemic, pre-airline uh, pilot you know, shortage. Our flight was delayed by two hours oh, in what airline? Wonder- wonderful uh, JetBlue. Uh, and... God, that sucks. It ruined our that St. Really Patty's sucks. Day. That really um, does. Of course it did. Because it's the two, I'm, hour, two hours I'm of fun. I'm rotting in the airport with my father and my wife. Oh, Luckily, yeah, you didn't really underscore this, the fact that you were actually traveling I with your dad. I was going there to take my dad to Boston, shipping him up to Boston to see the family before he leaves for South America, warmer pastures. Yes. Was the plan going to be dad to brother-in-law's house, yeah. uh, to brother's, brother's house? house. Brother, brother's house into town. Correct. Leave dad behind. Correct. Have fun, fun, Correct. fun. That Correct. just Correct. Uh, did they now? Usually with a two-hour delay, they're going to give you a little bit of intel as to what the cause was. They said did there was a maintenance issue. God, so they were out of windshield washer fluid. <laughs> Damn, and it was an, it was a little sucked. Embraer with two seats on each side. It was, yep, it was love the plane, but that's yeah. a shame. Mm-hmm. So uh, when I got there, I was you know hopeful that we'd still go out. Um, and I looked at my wife and I looked at my dad and I looked at my brother and they, it's almost, I mean, you, we've all been there before. It's when you ask just for one more, like a, a little too much than you know you shouldn't be asking for. Sure. Yeah. It's the feeling of like, do you still want to go out? The, if you have to ask if you still want to go out. Couldn't you read, you could read the vibe. Yeah. Like there was yeah. babysitters involved. What time did involved. you walk into the kitchen of your brother's house? Walked into the kitchen of my brother's house. Roughly f- almost 6 p.m. Like, yeah. Danger. Sorry. Yeah. Right? I mean, I'm thinking maybe you cut it close. Maybe yeah. you got there 4 30, yeah. but then you could maybe make. Yes. No. Yeah. Because you're, no. you're, the pivot's happening. Yep. Yeah. I mean, and it's not just about you're me. You're going to walk into a den of like 
ossification. Yeah. Which is, yeah, yeah, <laughs> six, do you remember 6 p.m. on St. Patrick's oh, sure. Day in D.C. when we sure. go to my, my brother says to me, he goes, Dad wears hearing aids. Do you think he's going to be be able to at least enjoy himself with drunkards everywhere at mm-hmm. this place that I... Bu- well, he was aware of it. The bro yeah. was yeah. aware of it. And I said... Yeah. Uh, I was Were like, you yeah. bummed though? Was the partying Oscar just a little bummed? Because you would be... You'd probably uh, geared up. Yeah. Well, everything I, equal, you'd be... Like, if you and I were in that kitchen, Oscar, you and I would be like, well, it's just going to go down. If I had another sibling that, you know, maybe was within my purview of borderline bad decision making, <laughs> right. uh, that would have been great. Because that, that sibling would have been like, let's say if I had... A, I'm just going to, you know, lay it out there. I'm Latin. Pablo. If I had a little brother named Pablo... That Bob Rose like, Bios. Yeah, that it was uh, three yeah, years Yeah, the younger 20 young, something. Yeah, brother. he would have been like, oh, come on. And then, and then my brother would have said, Oscar, you take Pablo, take him in, take Shan with you. Like, he, that would have been yeah. fine. Yeah. Not, can't not with your anymore. dad in your 80s and your father who's got a, a you know, six year old and his and wife. And you in your 40s. And they all just yeah. got back from being uh, doctors and saving lives. The last thing you want to do is go to a pub. And a tedious flight. You know, that didn't help. The fact that there was a two hour delayed like, flight. God, Everyone's yeah. crabby. Dang. Yeah. Uh, thank God I didn't buy those dropkick Murphy tickets. Anybody melt down with a two hour delay? Anybody? No, my dad, fellas, this is what people, when, you're, when your parents get older, mm-hmm. there's, uh, I'm blessed that he still walks around, right? He's, sure. he's in his 80s, he's 83. He's pretty spry. Well, more so than my mom these days. And um, he, like, he sat there next to me, and all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> he's traveled the world yeah. yeah and i said i said i'm not going to disturb him i'll just yeah. sit here and just watch him breathe make sure he's okay yeah because at that point you're on like fr- i don't want to be rude i'm on a constant watch when my parents are passed out to make sure they're still breathing well right? the snoring is like a that's like a medical alert or a bracelet right yeah, I'm, there I'm you first, know that I'm first yeah. alert yeah, um, that's so. But I'm. So, I feel bummed out for you because I mean that was. I know you yeah. were kind of. Was Shannon at all? Did she care? She doesn't. Really Shannon care has crippling anxiety, like social uh, anxiety. Like she does not like to. She says she likes to do things, but when plans get canceled, it's like God gave her uh, the gift of gold. Because yeah, I get it. I told. Hey, look, I got. Uh, I'm 20 years older than my wife. She's back here, mm-hmm. happy as, as uh, absolutely mm-hmm. happy. To be home. Yes. Her favorite place yeah. is to come home and be in her bed. Yeah. That's what she likes to do. <laughs> she likes that. Alone. I I guess yeah. I think we're the outliers. Yeah. I think back in the day when I was your age, I, you know, was like, woohoo. Woo! And uh, it's just a, you know, and Rob, also, you're a home buddy I'm too, out, even yeah. though you were I'm out of drinking, drinking in your ship. basement. I'm out of you drinking know? ship. It's been like, I may be in the last three weeks. Right. I'm, I'm right. including Shan's birthday. Maybe had. No, the last three months, maybe had two cocktails. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just because maybe, we're, maybe how about this? Maybe drinking copious amounts of alcohol isn't good for you. I don't know about that. Uh, you know what? That's a pretty amazing track record for you. Yeah. Two in a month, you know. Uh-huh. I haven't had 10 in like, it's probably been like two weeks. Wow. <laughs> You live in Vacation Land, USA. No, yeah, I really haven't. You're coming off really St. Don't. Patrick's week, Day. Yeah. I don't. I, I had uh, alcohol did not touch my uh, you know lips except for the uh, little after golf thing, and I came home and I was home didn't by six thirty. Didn't you drink the weekend before at that pro am you're in? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It just. And that's and within then the, ten days. Then the funeral. Yeah, I mean, there were no heroes. You got the funeral. I was getting yeah. ready to get on the plane. I had so a this water has been and a, a Pepsi. Yeah. I can't talk to the month. I can't speak to the month. You guys are coming into town this week. That's no, right. Yeah. Like, uh, but I can't. I don't. There's. I'm. I'm managing things. By the way, <laughs> I. Now I'm getting I'm, totally. Paranoid. I'm managing things. Yeah. No, I don't. I used to say it's that. Not the way it do, it's not the way it used to be. It's not It's not the way. I we, don't. Well, maybe we're all growing up. Yeah. And by the way, I, I, the, the difference between Cocoonville and Happy Valley is significant in that there are more people that bail after a drink or two than in yeah. the other place. Cocoonville mm-hmm. used to be, you know, it could be a marathon session. With everybody well, still there. And the old place didn't it usually turn into some sort of insurrection. <laughs> I was driven yeah. home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like by a, by a, a waitress one time yeah. in a golf cart and refused. Carla told me I refused to come into the house. Don't want to come in yet. 
Uh, those days oh, are gone. That must have been a night. Have you met Patty? Isn't she sweet? She drove me home. That's right. Yeah. And then I was belligerent. <laughs> you know it's tough when you got to go back and apologize. Hi. Thanks so much for yeah, what yeah. you did. Yes, yeah. I was on medication. That used to be a standard line. You know, that's it. Uh, but I really was. I was, an anti- I was on antibiotics. Yeah. And, uh, and that's probably... Drinking heavily. That's, that's, that's why they didn't take. That's right. That's why they didn't. Hey, I still have this sore. Uh, but anyway... I don't know what the deal hey, is Doc, with that. it's still weeping. You said it'd be better by now. Yeah, it should at least have dried up a little bit, right, Doc? I've got to go, honey. I'll be home later. I've got to go back to the wound clinic. <laughs> hey, did you see any evidence of it, though? Did you see any? Was oh, there, it was everywhere. Way. On the plane, there were college kids. There were college kid, like age kids, that were pre gaming at BWI to oh, go. What a grand airport. And then airport. you heard they were rowdy in the lobby. They're routing the waiting area. They got on. They gave a big happy St. Patty's Day up up front on the plane. No, not too much shtick. Let's just get out of here. They got out. I'm sure they went straight to the south end or back bay or wherever they went. Boom, done. Did you see any you novelty hats Boston? or anything? Did you? How about uh, Saturday night? Did you get to see Saturday? Boston we at went all? out for brunch. Had a beautiful. By the way, it's great when you have a wealthy brother. Because I don't even have to do the, the, the crocodile arms like I'm going to reach for my wallet. Right. Because like, he just takes, he does it. He takes, and, and, and he doesn't add, make me feel guilty about it. He doesn't do anything. He just does Did you go it. high end? Did you go for the yes. high end brunch? No, he went high end. I, but I mean, I how nice anywhere. was it? You it know? was a place where they, they this is where, where they say, um, if the, you know, a lot of market price downline, I'm like, that's going to be expensive. Sure. And then um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, you could go for our brunch. It's, sir, we are offering the peanut butter and jelly market. Because <laughs> they have lobster at the brunch. They try to sell you on this brunch. It's $110. Uh, and, or you could get the tapas and know that they come out, but every portion is really. So it's either, is it a buffet or a la carte? It's buffet or a la carte, but the a la carte bit is this. This is how they push you towards the buffet. The a la carte, they said, you know, our tapas are shareable, but it depends how hungry. If you're hungry, we should we suggest that one tapa per person. Like, they're supposed to be sharing plates. Yeah. But then they sell you that it's not really sharing because the portions are small. Mm. So was the, was the buffet uh, your I choice? I didn't go buffet. I went with the tapas because I, I wasn't that hungry. I was like, well, we'll see what happens. What did you get on your yeah. tiny plate? Well, I didn't get I got a... Uh, it was it was brunch, so I got a, a Belgian waffle that was uh, art, artisan. It had, like t- you might as well go to take. Yeah, really, he's popping for that kind of brunch, and uh, Cracker Barrel gets the Belgian <laughs> waffle. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Jesus, you rube! I, I got swear some, to um, God. Can I have a Belgian pancakes? waffle and one piece of sausage and some pancakes? I'll some have pancakes. a Belgian waffle and a Mountain Dew code red. <laughs> That's it. You know okay, me too well. I asked for a Diet Coke. That's Everyone else is getting hammered. Mountain <laughs> Dew Code Red. That's fantastic. Oh, boy. Do you have any Hostess cupcakes? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, uh, with the anyway. white on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have to take. So you, but all in all, good family weekend it was for wonderful. you. That's awesome. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, we'll take a break and uh, come back with more right here on the Michael People Mary Show. all over are talking about a new way of pampering themselves. The Brazilian. I thought it had something to do with beekeeping. Introducing <laughs> a new you, feeling young and vibrant. Dirk no, Aglo. Right. Why can I not get the name Dirk out of my head hey ladies let's get you looking radiant here's an unsolicited testimonial about durka glow hi i'm vicky Dirk <laughs> glow worked a little too well for me and i'm a 58 year old man who just joined a retired men's bowling league well it ain't for everyone if you really want to pamper yourself check out the real thing check out derm glow skin to see what carla can do for you she is a pure artist in her field oh, and by the way men need not apply oh even though, sure. even- for products or consultation visit dermglowskin.com today and by the way hi carla That's hi nice. dirk <laughs> hi dirk <laughs> hi uh this podcast is sponsored by groove life hear this Ooh. Oh, there, there, kill the music, my, kill the music. There are my uh, credit cards fanning out just like this. Are you still using the same wallet from 03? Now, ladies and gentlemen, is the time to update your wallet game. And I will tell you, I love this, love this, love this, love this. The Groove wallet, a sleek, look at that. Look at how beautiful Showing it off to my brother yeah. this weekend. I was like, what Low about profile, this engineered for everyday use. One simple thumb motion just like this. Boom. Boom. There are your cards. 
Uh, and it's got high quality aluminum. It's got the outer shell. The wallet is unlike any wallet I've seen. I love it. I love keeping my cards in here. Uh, by the way, Groove Life's 94 year no BS warranty. The wallet is the last wallet you will ever need. Personally, we all love ours, and you're going to love yours. It's time to bring your wallet game into mm. the 21st century. Mm. Head to GrooveLife.com slash TMOS and use promo code TMOS for 20% off all Groove Life products. That's the best offer you'll find, but you have to use the code. Go to the website. Use my code TMOS. 20% off your order. One last time, promo code TMOS for 20% off your order, just click the button on our website. Thank you very much. I love this product. That's I really great. do love their belts, love their wallets, love doing this when I go in there. Okay, how much was that? <laughs> uh, anyway, I want to talk about Florida wildlife. We have an update, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows? When you guys arrive on Thursday evening, perhaps, perhaps you may witness the latest edition of to an invasive species that is stalking Florida, and they're finding them around this area. My town, ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about giant African snails. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. God. They're tearing my flesh off. Oh, my God. I don't want to downplay what an invasive species is, mm -hmm. but ever since... I started doing like maybe it's a it's a byproduct of radio. Yeah, it first started out with that snakehead fish and I remember Croft that in Maryland. The snakehead no, could crawl you on that. Yeah. You don't hear about that anymore. Yeah, do I you? think I think it's everywhere. And then they just couldn't contain them. They use them at McDonald's. I know now for the uh, the <laughs> fillet of fish, yeah. <laughs> especially during Lent. Uh, yes, on Fridays. <laughs> um, so we have the most popular and uh, widespread media covered. Uh, invasive species would be the Burmese python. Yes. And when you see how prolific these things are, and then you see the maps of where they are, you can get it. You can kind of understand that. And uh, they come into an area. We, we are tropical down here because we're tropical. Things thrive. Yes. Things thrive. Uh, the iguana. Uh, there are um, the, our neighborhood next door over in Cocoonville, the aforementioned Cocoonville. They got a big ass uh, bunch of uh, iguanas over there right now. Do they and live then, like in a nest together or are they like solo creatures? How do iguanas do? Could you like find the ones down Usually here co-ops fly? The ones yeah. down here fly. Oh, those are great. <laughs> Flying iguanas. No, I don't know if they live in a nest. I don't yeah. know. Like a burrow, I would yeah, think. Probably like, like a reptile. Yeah, okay. Because I, I, they pr probably are loners. I can't imagine them like no, hanging no, out. No, no, no. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're like, what is it? Uh, not a tribe, but more of a... A, a team? Of, a team. No, no, not a team. A murder? Team Iguana. Team Iguana. <laughs> That's a murder of crows. <laughs> it's a herd. All right, uh, let me put in African... A plethora of iguanas. Of is what? Pinatas. Is what? A group of iguanas. You see, I, I've never seen like two hanging out. You, they fall out of trees together all the time. Well, no, they, they f fall one at a time. They have a Lissa Chitina Fulica. They got a them at my species, dad's place. They do? Mm -hmm. It's a species of large land snail that belongs mm. in the uh, subfamily. And I'm seeing, uh, let's How see. How big are not, they? Uh, customs officers confiscate six illegal giant African snails oh. at the Detroit airport. Oh. Must be a food item, I would I think. would think, that, yeah, you know? but you need a lot of butter if they're giant. To clarify, the just, butter? just no, just to clarify, iguanas are loners. I just uh, asked Chat GPT. Oh, did you? Yes, okay. I know. If it gets really uh, cold, they fall out of trees. Yes, the and cold I'm, makes them pass out. I would like to see that, but apparently we're going to have warm weather, yeah. so we're not going to see any falling iguanas during breeding season, which is April, April through May. Okay, oh. yeah. so the giant African land snail eradicated in 2021, and uh, they're now back. They're back. <laughs> <laughs> Two years later. Yeah. Oh, my God. The hard part, Mike, is catching them. Look at if you can see this picture. Yeah. Well, you, that's one on. That's one oh, on the hand. There we go. Oh, oh my bro. God. Look this. Looks like a turd on <laughs> yeah, a hand. They're like frog big. Mm. They're yeah. big. They're yeah. huge. Well, that'll yeah. mess up your Timberlands. Yeah, well, that, right, that's a, on that should a be on your tapas plate. How can you. Ooh. 
I, so it's uh, their pets. People keep them as pets. They, they originated down here due to the illegal pet trade. That's a gross Who's pet. That? It's a slug. That is a really, that's a nasty oh, ass pet. Exotic. Uh, by by whose standards? Joe's. No, jo- Joe. Joe Snail? He's in jail. Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic. <laughs> Mike, it's been three years since Joe Exotic entered our lives. And, yes, uh, I know. We miss him. It's quite the call. It's back. sad. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, this is, I think, Just an old story, story about them. Yeah, this goes back, well, 2022, so not can that far. Can you eat them? Uh, I'm sure you can eat any snail, right? Yes, I would think. A little puff pastry and some butter. Some I've butter. never had snail like, before. I don't think. Uh, let's see. Escargot. Uh, it's delicious. I just, uh, so right Pasco down. County yeah, is one fingers. of the places. This is not the first time Florida has dealt with an invasion of giant snails. <laughs> Here comes the joke. <laughs> in 2011, a population of the pests uh, were discovered in Miami-Dade County. That's over on the other side. Over sure. Where they got the, uh, the they got the curfew for spring break. Mm-hmm. Spring break uh, it wasn't forever. until 2021. It took them 10 years. Uh, while the snails in Miami-Dade had gray-colored flesh, uh, the snails in Pasco County have white flesh, uh, according to Chitty. What is Chitty? Do we know what Chitty is? Is that a website? It's bigger than Chitty. a town. I don't think you can say that on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. Are I the white snails more popular in Florida? <laughs> According to Chitty, they're uh, shooting them. <laughs> Chitty, uh, Chitty, bang, bang. <laughs> Mike, uh, this according to this just came over the wire. One of those yes. giant African snails actually placed fourth at the member guest. <laughs> Gina, I would. Nothing would make me happier than to see one of those on you know? on the links. Uh, by the way, anywhere you guys get to meet Jake the Snake when you come down here. Yeah, all right, and I will. T- uh, and I will terrific. wait. I will wait. What's the matter? Remember you scared uh, of snakes? I don't like snakes. Yeah. Oh, what fun we'll have with that. <laughs> Hooray. Sleep well, Mr. Spiewak. We've moved uh, his we've moved his terrarium into Rob's room. Man. We're seriously thinking about moving the terrarium, and uh, Carla wants to move it into uh, the studio area. Oh, no. That's where he forget gets people forget him, and he yeah, dies. Yeah, and he becomes no, very that's skinny. Where, that's why I'm making, I'm putting my foot down, saying, Oscar, hey, and I'm indicating this is going here. to be my new yeah. classy workspace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As opposed to the Carla storage closet. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you very much. So anyway, African snails. Uh, you got the Burmese pythons. You got those uh, chupacabras, the rats. Yeah. I bet if you were to take the shell off a giant African snail. You could put it on an armadillo. You could feed it to your snake that mm-hmm. you can eat. Yeah. What, what I do think you do so. with the shell? I think you could. But they. Uh, Ash tree. Really, <laughs> it's a heat signature that the snake goes for. And oh. I uh, cleaned, uh, by the way, I cleaned his uh, enclosure today, and you got to clean up the, he poops like a regular creature would poop, but then there are these white little uh, droplets around, and that's the digested bone oh, of the rodent. No. Oh, yeah. that's terrific. <laughs> Sleep well, Rob. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> yes, sir. What happened? Oh, we had a, a little rough time down there in South Florida. Mike put a giant African snail and a uh, and a uh, Burmese python in my bed. Uh, the invasion species. Invasion. We got to take a break. I'm running out of gas. Uh, we'll be right back uh, with the uh, homepage. Not the flip homepage. Page. The, uh, flip the side. Flip, flip. What happened just now? Hello. Age. This is Bob Barker. <laughs> Bob. I used to host The Price is Right, and now I'm retired. And I also lost and my wife, alive. Dorothy Joe, years ago. So when there's shopping to do, Dorothy so Joe up. can't go to the grocery store. So what do I do? I use the Michael Mara Show Shopping Center. And I get all the goods and services that I require, mm. especially my pharmaceutical items. Oh, Thanks, I get everything I need from that shopping center. That's how much it means to me. So... Please think of Dorothy <laughs> Joe and use the TMOS Shopping Center. And what do we have for William? There we are. An old e-bike goodie. <laughs> hey, if you think an e-bike can't handle your haul, mm. think again. 
The all-new Expedition by Electric is the cargo e-bike designed to carry more so you can do more while you're enjoying the fresh air. Whether you're packing groceries, gear, or even an extra passenger, yes. the Expedition e-bike has you covered, and they are down here in southwest Florida. I saw one just the other day. Gave me a nice warm and fuzzy. Uh, it has a carrying capacity of 450 pounds, and you can go up to 150 miles on a single charge. Oscar's bringing his down. Yes. And after we pick out the rug, we're going to send him straight across Alligator Alley yes. and back uh, to see how long yeah. it takes him we'll to go 150 review. miles. Uh, it's perfect for carrying passengers, including the kids, all of them. If you have eight kids, put them on your electric e-bike. They're <laughs> yes. foldable. Stack them they up. Ship, they ship free, fully assembled, and there are over 250,000 dedicated riders on the road so far. Electric has something for everybody. Oscar, you are all over the district. I know you love it. I know you love this product. One of your favorites. Love uh, Plus, a little side thing, no parking fees. Oh. All right. Every morning, full speed, yeah. 28 miles per hour right into Charlie Bernie's office. You think... You think uh, not having uh, that many people working in the district anymore because everybody's working from home? Sure. The parking prices would go down. They not. No, they, they don't. Up, I'm up, sa- up. I'm saving $400 a month. Easy. Easy. Greed. Check out the all-new Expedition Cargo e-bike from Roll. Electric! <laughs> Visit electricebikes.com to learn more about the Expedition Cargo Bike, uh, the Cargo E-Bike, and all of the other sweet models Electric uh, Electric has to offer. That's L, not an E, L-E-C-T-R-I-C, ebikes.com. Do you take it on some sweet rides? <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh. Upside down. Roll over, roll over. The flip side. Oh, thank you, Mike. You know what? It's time for Bracket Busters. Bracket Buster. Here we go. Yeah, he's left. Uh, this is the Sweet 16, ladies and gentlemen. Blue Jays, Bulldogs, Bruins, and Razorbacks, Hurricanes, Huskies, Owls, Cougars, Wildcats, Aztecs, Spartans, Musketeers, Crimson Dive, Longhorns, Volunteers, 15 seater Tigers ruined your hoop dreams. You got killed. Your bracket looks like a crime scene. The Sweet 16. Uh, one that jumped out, Musketeers. Do we have any idea who the Musketeers are? I thought you were going to talk about your Florida. What is it? Yeah, check out Musketeers because the three biggest surprise over the weekend was that uh, Princeton beat Missouri, Arkansas beat Kansas, and Fairleigh Dickinson beat Purdue. Bracket Buster. Yeah, but then they lost. They just lost yesterday. The number 15 seed, the Princeton Tigers. It's never been sweeter than right now. The largest margin of victory by a 15 seed. Bracket Buster. Kansas, they have not lost a game all year when they have led it to half. Arkansas uh-huh. gets it in, they get it to block, the clock ticks, and that's it! The Razorbacks survive and advance to the Sweet 16! P- Princeton, I mean, that's... That, I don't even understand how that happens. But Florida, so much fun for those people yeah. on that egghead Florida campus. Florida Gulf Coast, Mike. Is that the Musketeers? That's who you should be rooting for. No, that's the Eagles. Oh, okay. No, that's in the female category. No, the men, they played yesterday. The FG. Wait a minute. The Eagles. I mean, I'll give you an. I'll give you an option. Are you sure that's the I guys? Was like, it was Florida Central. Or something. I was like, this is Mike. This is Mike's team. It's the Florida Killer Snails. I could be wrong. <laughs> the African Snails. All right. <laughs> I was more. F-A-C-A-A. More. Uh, I was. I've been distraught since Maryland lost to uh, Alabama. Yeah, that was brutal. That, there was a clerical error that got VCU in this year. I think. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Just a- yeah. Am I wrong? FGCU upsets Washington State's in first round of NCAA tournament. Yeah, they're going to the Sweet uh, 16 now. Still dancing. Number 22, FGCU downs Washington State. Uh, what's more? You might be right, Oscar. I, I, I mean, the, I was going to text you last night, but I was like, I can't text him during this game. He's watching it. Oh, or is be. it Florida Atlantic? I got to figure this out right now. I'll let you know. I'm All right, totally and rude. find out who the Musketeers are. Thank Meanwhile, you. Mike, uh, Dateline, Oklahoma City, it's not good to drink and drive, period. It's especially egregious if you are a city police captain and the police captain of Oklahoma City got pulled over and he handles it like such a drunk person. I love this body cam footage because he keeps asking him to turn off the body cam in a true drunk guy way. You've been drinking tonight. I just got a ride. You've been drinking tonight, sir. I'm a captain on the police department. What police department? Oklahoma City. 
I'm not turning my camera off. Please. I know you're aware of our body cam policy. You know I cannot turn I, off this body I cam. I do, but I'd like to talk to you. I can't do this. <laughs> Please. i like to talk to you. I'll talk you, to you once we're done. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. I can turn it off once I'm done with my investigation, sir. Okay. I, I don't not. show favoritism to anyone, regardless. Well, I don't care if you're um, a gangbanger or the president of the United States. Sir, I'm not asking you for that. If I was to treat you differently than I was to treat like some South Side loco or some pedo, how's that look on me? Sergeant Skinner, please. Okay, once we complete the test, I'll turn off my body cam. All right, go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Are you going to arrest me, sir? Yes, I am. Can I talk to you? Can we get the camera off now? Yeah, we'll turn the camera off now. Thank you. I love that you hear the cuffs going on. He says, can I talk to you? <laughs> Come you? on. I'm, and he whispers. He says, hi, oh, Captain. Why are you hanging me? Mike, uh, Florida Atlantic. Florida Atlantic. That's what yeah, sure? that's, that's I'm looking at Because FGCU, I'm looking. I'm trying. You know what? I, look, I, 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 I have a cursory interest in this. It is so hard to gather yes. information I, I it shouldn't be there are brackets everywhere but i'm looking right now so we are down to 16 teams correct mm -hmm. correct, correct. Mm -hmm. did you find out who the musketeers are yet? i let go of that i i can't let go i, I moved on oscar please come back no, we're good. <laughs> come back meanwhile there are bad parents and there are good please. parents i'm not sure this mom is all that great not that classy she catches her young beautiful cute daughter in a situation misunderstanding the mm -hmm. kids fall into and doesn't really treat it in the right way what are you doing and why are you standing over there Head and fence, please stand beside. <laughs> you know what baby what? good thing you're beautiful are you fixing the tv all right thank you so the tv said please stand by and the little kid stood by the tv and the That's mother says so adorable I know, the said, it's a good thing you're beautiful now, be a good girl. Go get your mama her marble red. On Thursday, this Thursday, we were going to be yes. in, in uh, at Mike's house by yes. this time. At 9 p.m., Florida Atlantic plays Tennessee. Nine verse four. Florida Atlantic. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's a small go. school. Very, very good. Congratulations. FGCU, I think the women are uh, in their NCAA doing very, very well. And, Mike, let us close with this. It's been a while since we've heard from Rodney. How ugly... Does he say it uh, is? One girl, she was so fat, she got in a scale, a card came out, said one at a time. You know? <laughs> and this girl was no bargain either. She was fat. No problem. <laughs> uh, fat, when she wears high heels, she strikes oil, okay? She's fat. <laughs> Rodney, she hey. was fat. Ooh, remember how we met? I hit her with my car. She said, me once go around me. I told her, I didn't think I had enough gas. <laughs> That was fat and ugly. Ooh, she ugly. Ugly. How ugly? I took her to the beach. They asked me what I used for bait. I met her at the Macy's parade. She was wearing ropes. <laughs> That's all I got, Mike. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> we got to get out of here. We'll be back with a brand new episode tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. And we never got around to the true price of fatherhood. Mm. Sounds ah. like our boy Oscar. Might be uh, shaky a little bit on the fatherhood well. front, but you know we'll have to wait till tomorrow. It's a bad yeah. deal, Wade. <laughs> bad deal. Can we talk coffee tomorrow? I'd really yes. like to talk. Yes, and also I'll tomorrow. give you a tooth update. See how many he pulls out today. Yeah, Rob goes to the dentist uh, after four years. Anyway, we'll, uh, they're take not a that break. soft, Mike. They're the consistency of butter mints. That's disgusting for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. Michael Mara saying so long, everybody. Woo! Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Get off my property or I'll call the cops on you. Oh, one team, one team, one team. Hello, everybody.